Probably most importantly, and what a lot of people aren't aware of, is the difference between an entitlement-based grant versus a competitive-based grant. So uh, the takeaway is that uh, often uh, businesses are entitled to receive uh, uh, either direct funding or indirect funding via tax offsets uh, for activities that they're already doing. Um, often, however, uh, they're unaware that these uh, incentives are available for them. So uh, what I uh, like to do is come on in and, and help people identify where their opportunities exist for what they're doing currently, um, or uh, potentially help them structure uh, to ensure that they're eligible to receive these, um, uh, these grants moving forward. Um, also, uh, as I said before, there's competitive-based grants too. So um, competitive-based grants are, are, are merit-based. There's no guarantee of success. Um, but certainly if you're undertaking something a little bit left to centre in your business that's a little bit smart, that has a value proposition for both your business and also uh, industry, broader spillover effects, well, potentially there's pockets of money available for you too. The biggest issue I face is there's a, 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 a misconception or, 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 or perceived... Um, uh, interpretation of what is eligible um, and, and, and invariably people think that they either are eligible sorry are eligible or they're not eligible um, um, so I try and uh, introduce new ways of thinking to um, uh, understand exactly what they're doing in their business to flesh out exactly if an entitlement exists mostly uh, ask the question um, uh, if you think that there's an opportunity uh, for some of the activities that you're doing, uh, potentially there's a, a, an entitlement-based refund available for you.